Hello everyone, what Pauline Hanson said was right. We need to open the borders now and we need to do what is possible because it's in the long term, shutting off the borders is not good for tourism and it's not good for tourism overall in Queensland. And a lot of towns in Queensland rely on tourism. So we need the borders open and I agree, it's unconstitutional of what's going on at the moment and it's great that Pauline Hanson, someone that, that fights for battlers and fights for people on the low levels at the moment, she she supports the, the, the right situation and the right people and I support Pauline Hanson on this as well. I think it's great that she wants to support jobs in Queensland and this is the way that she um, is supporting it as well. Um, in the long term, if they don't do anything, it will hurt the, the chances of the Queensland Labor Party being re-elected in, in Queensland in this coming um, Queensland state election later this year on October 31st. And this is what's really going to um, is going to hurt her as well and hurt her seats. Of course, people will be upset about this because they're going to lose their jobs. They're going to lose their income. They're going to lose their support as well in towns like Noosa, all the way up to Cairns, who rely on tourism, even the Whitsundays who rely on tourism, and towns like Harvey Bay, that rely heavily on tourism, need to be supported this way, and it's unconstitutional, like I said, to do this. So we need to support jobs in tourism, and we need to support tourism industries at the moment by opening borders and allowing Australians to travel to these places before we have international travel and I hope that we can see this happen soon so I'm throwing my support behind Pauline Hanson at the moment and I support her by what she's saying at the moment and what she's saying about tourism in Queensland and I support this